Bienvenidos. Welcome, everybody. Today, we're going to be translating English sentences into Spanish. How do you say I work in Spanish? Yo trabajo. Yo trabajo. You can also drop the pronoun and just say trabajo. And how would you say I work in a restaurant? Trabajo en un restaurante. Trabajo en un restaurante. Very well, let's add to that. How would you say, I work in a restaurant as a cashier? Trabajo en un restaurante como cajera. Cajera for female or cajero for male. Trabajo en un restaurante como cajera. Trabajo en un restaurante como cajero. And how would you say I don't work in a restaurant as a cashier? In Spanish, it's very easy. We just need to add no before the verb. No trabajo en un restaurante como cajero. No trabajo en un restaurante como cajera. So very simple, just adding no to the affirmative sentence. How do you say he can in Spanish? Él puede. Él puede. And how would you use that to say he can run? Él puede correr. Él puede correr. And to say he can run fast? Él puede correr rápido. Él puede correr rápido. Very good. And how would you say he can't run fast? Él no puede correr rápido. Él no puede correr rápido. When we use the pronoun, the word no goes in between the pronoun and the verb. How would you say we need in Spanish? Necesitamos. Necesitamos. You can also add the pronoun, but it's not needed. But the pronouns would be nosotros for a mixed group or an all-male group or Nosotras, for an all-female group. How would you add to that and say we need to study? Necesitamos estudiar. Necesitamos estudiar. And to say we need to study for the exam? Necesitamos estudiar para el examen. Necesitamos estudiar para el examen. Very good. Now try to say that sentence in negative form. We don't need to study for the exam. No necesitamos estudiar para el examen. No necesitamos estudiar para el examen. Very easy. All right, how would you say you want in Spanish, you being the informal you? Tú quieres. Tú quieres. And how would you say you want to go? Tú quieres ir. Tú quieres ir. And to say you want to go to the store? Tú Quieres ir a la tienda. Tú quieres ir a la tienda. We can also drop the pronoun and just say, Quieres ir a la tienda. And how would you turn that sentence into a negative one? You don't want to go to the store. No quieres ir a la tienda. Or we could say it with the pronoun, Tú no quieres ir a la tienda. All right, how would you say she has in Spanish? Ella tiene. Ella tiene. 
and she has to clean. Ella tiene que limpiar. Ella tiene que limpiar. And how would you complete the sentence to say she has to clean the house? Ella tiene que limpiar la casa. Ella tiene que limpiar la casa. And now, how do you say she doesn't have to clean the house? Ella no tiene que limpiar la casa. Ella no tiene que limpiar la casa. Very nice. How would you say they walk in Spanish? Caminan. Caminan. You can also use the pronoun and say ellos for an all-male group or a mixed group or ellas for an all-female group. Caminan. And how would you say they walk to school? Caminan a la escuela. Caminan a la escuela. And how do you say they walk to school every day? Caminan a la escuela todos los días. Caminan a la escuela todos los días. And to say they don't walk to school every day? No caminan a la escuela todos los días. No caminan a la escuela todos los días. All right, how do you say the dog in Spanish? El perro. El perro for a male dog. La perra. La perra for a female dog. And how would you say the dog wants? El perro quiere. El perro quiere. And to say the dog wants to eat? El perro quiere comer. El perro quiere comer. So, in English, we could say it wants to eat. In Spanish, there's no pronoun for eat in this sense. We would just say quiere comer. Quiere comer. And how would you say the dog doesn't want to eat? El perro no Quiere comer. El perro no quiere comer. I hope this is helpful and that you're using these structures to create your own sentences. Remember that you have to conjugate the Spanish verbs to the pronoun. So it's important you learn how to conjugate them. And this next video will help you to learn that. Muchas gracias.